Assalamu alaikum, my brothers and sisters. Peace be upon you. Welcome to Minutes to Paradise. Tayammum is a practice in Islam used for ritual purification, when water is unavailable, or when using water for ablution, wudu, or ghusl, full body purification, is not feasible due to certain circumstances. Tayammum serves as an alternative to water in these purification rituals and is considered a lawful concession in Islamic jurisprudence. Here's how tayammum is performed. Intention, niya. The person intending to perform tayammum must sincerely intend in their heart to purify themselves for worship or prayer. Touching the earth, the individual begins by touching a clean, dry and dust-free surface of the earth, such as sand, clay or soil, with their hands. Dusting the hands. After touching the earth, the person lightly dusts their palms and then removes any excess dust by blowing on their hands. Wiping the face. Next, the person wipes their face with their hands, ensuring that the entire face is covered, including the forehead, nose, cheeks and chin. Wiping the hands. After wiping the face, the individual wipes their hands up to the wrists. It's important to ensure that both hands are thoroughly wiped. Completion. Tayamum is now complete and the person can proceed with their worship or prayer. Tayamum is a temporary and limited form of purification and is only allowed under specific circumstances, such as when water is scarce, using water may harm the individual, or water is not accessible. It's crucial to perform tayamum correctly and with a sincere intention. Once water becomes available and the obstacle to using water is resolved, a Muslim is required to perform wudu or ghusl using water as usual. The rules and conditions for tayammum may vary slightly among different Islamic schools of thought. So individuals should seek guidance from their religious scholars or authorities for specific instructions based on their beliefs and practices.